In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide fractions. Before doing that, I am going to show you why we do what we do when we divide fractions. This might confuse you a little bit, but if it does, then just go on to the rule afterwards, and maybe when you come back, it'll make sense. All right, so let's say you want to divide fractions. So you have some fraction, a over b, divided by, let's say, c over d. Okay, so usually, remember, you can write a fraction, like if you have 6 over 2, remember that's the same thing as 6 divided by 2, etc. So if I have this fraction divided by that fraction, it's really the same thing as a over b divided by c over d. Okay. All right, so this is equal to this. Now, I know that I can make an equivalent fraction by multiplying anything I want in the numerator and denominator as long as it's the same thing. So how about if I multiply both the numerator and denominator by d over c? I know it's a little bit abstract. All right, so let's see if you believe me here. a over b divided by c over d means this first thing, a over b, over c over d. So that's how I started. And then I'm multiplying it by the fraction 1, because d over c divided over d over c is like 3 over 3, for instance. So now we're going to use the rule for multiplying fractions, which means you multiply the numerators together, right? So that's a over b times d over c. And in the denominator, I multiply as well. c over d times d over c. What I want you to do here is look at the denominator. What's going to happen? I've got c over d times d over c. Do you see how those are going to cancel? Because the c's cancel and the d's cancel, I'm going to end up with a 1 in the denominator. And in the numerator, I've got a over b times d over c. But what's anything over 1? Oh, it's itself. Like if I had 5 over 1, we could just write 5. So if we have a over b times d over c, it's the same thing as a over b times d over c. All right, so I started with a over b divided by d over c, and I went through this process and ended up that that's the same thing as a over b times d over c. So that's what I'm going to write here. This is the same thing as a over b times, check it out, not c over d, but the reciprocal, d over c. That's the rule for multiplying fraction, and below it is why it's true. So if you have a over b divided by c over d, what any fractions those are, the first fraction you just write down, the same thing. but to change from division to multiplication, you change the division sign to a time sign, and then you write the reciprocal of the fraction, which means you change the numerator and denominator. Now, notice you have to have a simple fraction. It can't be a mixed number to do that. All right, so here's the key. Okay, so here it is. To divide fractions, make sure both are simple fractions, not mixed numbers. Then rewrite the division problem as a multiplication problem by writing the first fraction as is. So I start out with a over b divided by c over d. I'm going to write the first fraction as is. Okay. Then I'm going to change the division sign to multiplication. So now I'm going to write this next thing as a multiplication, not division. And then I'm again going to write the reciprocal of the fraction that was after the division sign, so d over c. So you'll often hear that division is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So in other words, dividing by c over d is the same as multiplying by d over c. All right, now let's take and look at a particular problem with numbers. How about 7 eighths divided by 14 thirds? So what do we do? We write the first number down. We change the division to a multiplication. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Don't write the reciprocal of the first number. It's always 
these two things that change. The division changed the multiplication, and we write the reciprocal of 14 thirds, which is 3 fourteenths. And now you can do the prime factorization of all the, the numbers you see to cancel, or we can do the canceling method where we just divide some number in the numerator and denominator by the same thing, same factor. I can divide both by 7, so that's a 1, and 14 divided by 7 is 2. So the answer to this problem, left in the numerator, be careful, is 1 times 3 and 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, let's do another one. 3 tenths times 6, let's say, elevenths. All right, why don't you try that? Oops, I gave you a multiplication. Okay, well, that was easy. Did you notice that? I didn't give you a division. So if I give you a multiplication, you just multiply the numerators together, which is 3 times 6, which is 18, and 10 times 11, which is 110. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to cancel first. The 6 and the 10 can cancel. There is a factor of 2. Divide each by 2. All right, that'll make it easier. 3 times 3 is 9, and 5 times 11 is 55. All right, now let's do a problem that's division, which is what I meant to give you. How about 3 tenths divided by 6 elevenths. All right, that's what I meant to write. 3 tenths divided by 6 elevenths. All right, so what do we do? We write 3 tenths again, and you multiply by the reciprocal, which is 11 sixths. And now I see if I can cancel anything. Well, 3 goes into both 3 and 6, so I cancel. And what do I get? 1 times 11 in the numerator, and 10 times 2 in the denominator. I've got 11 twentieths. That's all there is to it. How about if we have a mixed number? How about if I had 2 and a third divided by 4 fifths? Well, in this case, I have to first write each as an, uh, an improper fraction. If, if, uh, well, I have to change all mixed numbers anyway to an improper fraction. 4 fifths is okay the way it is. So 2 and 1 third, it's going to be thirds. I have 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7 thirds times the reciprocal, so that's going to be times 5 fourths. And now we look to see if I can cancel anything, and I can't, so that's 35 twelfths. If you want to write this as a mixed number, what would that be? I would divide 35 divided by 12 is 2 and 11 twelfths. Both of those are correct. Okay, here's one for you to try. All right, so we have three and a half divided by one and three fourths. Try this on your own. Step one is to change both improper fractions. I'm sorry, both mixed numbers to improper fractions. So let's see, we have three and a half, that'll be 7 halves, because you have to do 3 times 2 plus 1, right? And denominator stays the same. It's still going to be divided by, almost made that mistake. And then I've got to change 1 and 3 fourths, that's 7 fourths. So I begin by keeping it as division, but I'm going to rewrite each mixed number as an improper fraction. Now I can change division to multiplying by the reciprocal. So we have 7 halves times 4 sevenths. This is where you want to do the reciprocal. And now I go ahead and cancel, or you could write everything as um, in prime factorization to do it. So 7 and 7 cancel, those are 1's, right? And 4 and 2, those cancel. So I get 2 over 1 which is not reduced, because that means 2 divided by 1. So my answer is 2, so I ended up with a whole number. 
Okay, so that's how you do division with fractions. You first make sure the numbers are improper fractions, and then you rewrite the division as multiplying by the reciprocal, and then just use your rules for multiplication and canceling, etc.